Hi, Miss Jenny here from the Flossmore Library. Thank you guys so much for tuning in to Storytime with Miss Jenny. Um, happy Saturday. Um, so today is our last day of Women's History Month. So I'm going to read Me, Jane by Patrick McDonnell. This is a story about Dr. Jane Goodall and her chimpanzee. Okay. She dreamed about helping animals all around the world. And thank you, Little Brown and Company, for allowing us to read this. And there's Jane with her chimpanzee. Jane had a stuffed chimpanzee named Jubilee. Just like I have Buttercup, right? She cherished Jubilee and took him everywhere she went, and Jane loved to be outside. She watched birds making their nests, spiders spinning their webs, and squirrels chasing one another up and down trees. Jane learned all that she could about the animals and plants she studied in her backyard and read about them in books. The Alligator Society, the Wild Bird Puzzle, Cobra's Page, she learned about them all. One day, Curious Jane wondered where eggs came from. So she and Jubilee snuck into Grandma Nut's chicken coop. Uh-oh, they snuck in. And they hid behind some straw and stayed very still. They didn't move at all. And they observed the miracle, laying the, uh, laying the egg. It was a magical world full of joy and wonder, and Jane felt very much a part of it. Jane often climbed her favorite tree, which she named Peach. She would lay her cheek against its trunk and seem to feel the sap flowing beneath the bark. Jane could feel her own heart beating, beating, and beating. With the wind in her hair, she read and read the books about Tarzan of the apes in which another girl also named Jane lived in the jungles of Africa. Jane dreamed of a life in Africa too. A life living with and helping all animals. She would love that. At night, Jane would tuck Jubilee into bed, saying her prayers. So cute. And fall fast asleep. They were so tired of all their adventures outside, right? Uh -oh. There we go. To awake one day, what kind of adventure is she on? To her dream come true. And look at that, that's a real photo of Jane Goodall with the chimpanzee. He's so cute. And then the back of the book, it has some information about Jane Goodall and a message from Jane. Um, so if you guys want to check this out, um, you can give us a call or you can place it on hold online. It's called Me, Jane by Patrick McDonald. All right. Well, thank you guys so much for tuning in to Storytime with Miss Jenny on this Saturday. And um, I will see you guys next week for another story. All right. Thank you guys so much. Bye.